in Hawaii are a very endangered population. They live only in Hawaii, which is what we call endemic. They are endemic to the Hawaiian Islands. And they're important there. So they, uh, they are well managed and well protected. And as part of the protection, uh, we vaccinate them and, and prevent them from, from contracting the, the focine distemper. So Charity is in Hawaii right now, and she with us some pictures of, uh, of the monk seals that she's seeing there uh, now. So I'm gonna bring those up and share the screen. Gloria Ilagan, Dr. Gloria Ilagan is the health and PE teacher at Kealake High School. And she and her family saw them yesterday. So if you don't mind putting the pictures up, she can talk about them. Yeah, so uh, let me share a screen. This is the mama and the baby seal. And they are sunbathing here in a state park called Kona Coast State Park. Locally known as Mahi Ulas. They frequent here as well as the next door beach, locally also known as Kua Bay. Last time I saw uh, Mama Seal, they, they name them by letters, not, not any name. But um, I called her Moana. <laughs> because she was from the ocean but this one is it could be Moana or it could be another one I don't know her name but she is with her pup and last time I saw Moana was next door and she was molting getting ready to have a pup so this could be very well her pup now they are very susceptible to Morbid visalitis, or it's a, it's a virus that is rampant among monk seals as well as in whales. Here in the Hawaiian Ocean, um, there's a lot of development and runoff from the islands, and so monk seals um, become susceptible to them. They're also like people. If, uh, if there is an outbreak, they can easily spread it by way of close contact and by sneezing. So that's kind of very similar to how humans um, get the virus. So it'd be interesting to possibly someday get a mask for seals during an outbreak but realistically they vaccinate through a program which NOAA has um, put together in 2015 and it's a research program to gather data and protocol on how to vac vaccinate the seals because currently they're doing it in 2015 they're doing it only with captive seals but now they are doing it. Miss Charity, they were doing it to seals that were native in their population. And um, as you see, I think previously we had a video clip from National Geographic on how the researchers would approach the seals and vaccinated them with a long, long stick. Um, the morbid visalitis that, uh, the, that virus that kills the seals are also, they're very common to dogs, like you were saying before, because sometimes dogs that are loose, get onto the beaches and then they infect the seals 
Um, that's how some of the, the outbreak happens. As well as, um, again, when they're in close contact, because seals are very, um, they like, they like to be in, oh, how do you say it? In, in groups, in schools like fish, they like to be in, in like a family type of uh, situation. So, way to go see them. They were sighted yesterday. Uh, they didn't come out early in the morning, so they finally came out like three o'clock in the afternoon when we were about to leave. So they may or may not be here, but you know, <laughs> the seals have their own their own time to sunbathe, to eat, and they. I, I think they they may be. We're hoping we can see them because we're on our way to go see them on the beach, and it's a 20-minute hike to go see them. And the parks are closed because of COVID, and they want to make sure that that when they protect the seals, there's a voluntary program called Kekai Ola, which means healing from the sea to uh, protect the monk seals. We have volunteers throughout the community who are trained to educate the public about keeping their distance, again, social distancing from the seals and to let them be and not harass them because they just really like to, just like everyone else, sunbathe them in the sand. And um, the only way that we can really um, learn about them is to be educated. And also we have a marine mammal hospital here locally where we were the other day, but we couldn't find any researchers because they were busy feeding the pups and taking care of the animals. So that marine hospital was closed, but they did tell us that they did cite a monk seal here at this property, which is several miles away from the facility, so we, we weren't able to walk to where they are. But here we are now at the beach. There should be signs. I took a picture of the sign. Do you have that sign up? Yeah. Okay, the sign. If you go close to the sign, it'll tell you. See that? Can you read that? It'll say that there is a monk seal and that um, you should not harass them. Yeah, it says, please never I believe they're from a safe distance report seal sightings. Yes, there is a hotline to call whenever residents or visitors see the seals on shore because they come they come randomly and we don't know exactly what time or where. Right. But if you see one, there's a hotline that people can call and then the volunteers will go and put a put a sign up and and people can still view them as long as they do their safe distance. Right. Social distancing. So uh, and let me show you. Sorry. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh, aside from the respiratory illness, like you said, sneezing on each other, uh, are there other symptoms of this morbilla virus, the, the focine distemper that, that are, make, would make people aware that, that those animals might be sick? Well, the only way they'll know, I guess, is if they're, they start dying, and we don't want to find out that way. And... So what they do is trying to do the preventive, the preventive measure is to give them vaccinations. And what the vaccination is, in order for them to get full vaccination, they have to be vaccinated twice within a four week period. So just like humans, uh, we have to get vaccinated to, get, to prevent the illness from spreading. It's so that the, the animal, the mammal can, can build antibodies 
And it's been shown that those in captivity are less prone to, to catching the disease because of the vaccination. Okay. So that's why they're trying to vaccinate the, the seals as much as they can. And that's why they're doing volunteer efforts to educate the volunteers on how to do it safely, when to do it. They're gathering data of how often they do it, where they do it, to who they do it. Because the seals have tags on them. Mm -hmm. That's how they identify each seal. And they name them like RT, RD32. For some reason, I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> they, I, I named one Moana. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, there are different seals with different places. <laughs> so we are, I'm actually on the beach. Can you hear the ocean? Oh. Wouldn't you like to be sunbathing on this beach? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I, I would like <laughs> This is what they do. They come up and they catch some catch some, some rays. Maybe vitamin D is a good way for them to. Yeah, I think vitamin D is one of the ways that you can prevent um, the virus from spreading because viruses don't don't like the sun yeah right they don't they don't like heat oh there's the sign i see the sign let me get to the sign you see the house you see the sign up ahead uh, not yet okay i'm getting there okay no worries it's hard, it's hard to run in the sand <laughs> have you ever ran in the sand it's yeah. a good workout oh here's a volunteer oh Are you a volunteer? Are you the monk seal volunteer? Oh, yes! Can we interview you? Oh. She's safe. Oh, there she is. Look, she's in the ocean. Can you see? And this is as close as we can go. You see? She's that black in the ocean. Yeah. Right there. Can you tell us about Waimanu? And Waimanu is from where? Oh, she's from here. Okay, that's why she's not a letter. That's why she's not a letter. Usually the ones. Oh, she's RW34 as far as the research. But locally, she's known as Waimanu. Is her pup around? Her pup? Oh, she doesn't? Yesterday we saw a pup. Oh, it was it her pup? Oh, another seal with a pup. Oh, that's awesome. Who? What's her name? Do you know? I R4. R405 has a pup. This is not R405, this is Y90. How often are you here and how long? How often are you here and how long? She's here every day for how long? Sunset to sundown. That is awesome. Yes, we're, we're doing, okay. I have to, I'm gonna go back. Oh, do you see her? She's looking up at us. <laughs> Did you see her? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go back up because I have to tell. I have to be back a certain distance because they don't let us stay close to her. Yes, right. Oh, she's smiling at us. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. She might come up to sunbathe. Okay, she told me to stay very still and not move. Look, isn't that beautiful?
So you were mentioning uh, the way the vaccinations are done on a pole, is that right? Yes, it's like a stick. It's a pole of about maybe five feet. And what researchers do is they stick it to the, uh, the seal to vaccinate them. And it doesn't really hurt them that much. It probably like a, a pinprick. There might be some swelling involved. But basically, they'll just mark at the researcher and then they quit poking. And then because each of the, uh, the animals is identifiable, they can follow up and make sure there weren't any ill effects of, of vaccination or any kind of complication? Well, no, I, I believe that they know the right amount of dosage to give them so that they will have sufficient amount to protect them okay. until the second shot. And so they, they've been gathering data on how long the vaccine becomes effective and how often they have to give them and how much to give them. So right. I think they've got it net since 2015, they've gotten enough data to at least have a protocol on how often, how much and when to give it to them. Mm -hmm. And so they're a, they're a rehabilitation center, right? So it has a lot of, a lot of the, the research and, and verification of everything and how they've done with, with seals that are under their care. Absolutely, yes. Yes, that's part of the data gathering that the federal government has provided to protect these endangered species. There's only 1,100 spe uh, 1,100 of them alive in in the northern and Hawaiian islands uh, in the world, actually. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's why. We're trying to protect them because that's not very many. They're very uh, beast, and then there's natural predators like sharks, and and of course we want to prevent diseases to continue their species. And what the animal center, the mammal center here does, when they find uh, seals that are sick, underweight, or needing assistance to survive, they, they keep them in captivity, they monitor them, and they feed them, and they bring them back to, um, and they go back out weighing 75 pounds or more. Wow. When, when they are healthy enough to go into the ocean. So it's, you see why Nani, she's having fun swimming out there. There's a volunteer. See, they have a... Uh, Binocular, so that when they sight it, when people come, she'll she'll direct them. To, you can't walk on the beach, but you are allowed to observe them, like we are right now. And so, isn't it cool? We see a endangered species in their natural environment having right. fun in Hawaii. <laughs> so there are two seals. Yesterday, um, we saw another another steel with her pup and this is not the one this is my nine she's she's a different seal than we saw yesterday so apparently this is their favorite swimming spot i, I guess so yeah that kind of highlights and i don't blame them when you say there's only 1100 left in the world and yeah that's why they're endangered yes and they are they are native to Hawaii. There's only two mammals in, that are endemic to Hawaii, and this is this is one of them. The other one is a hoary bat, and you'd never think that bats would be.
be in Hawaii, but we actually do have that. <laughs> but what a better place to go hang out with a seal, huh? All right. It was worth it was worth the 20 minute hike. <laughs> Poor Chatter. <laughs> She's like, oh no, I don't think we're gonna make it to for today's cast. I'm like, oh no, we're almost there. Just hang in there. Oh, well, and it's all worth it. That's such a great thing to see. Absolutely. I wish we could see the mama and the pup, but maybe there'll be another day and then we'll we'll videotape it and 